In the last video, we have learned the definition of the universal law of gravitation. Now, we shall learn the mathematical expression of the same law. So, let us take two objects. Object A, let's say it has mass capital M. Let us take another object, object B. Let's say it has mass small m. Obviously, as you can see over here, capital M is greater than small m. Right? And let us take their centers and let us assume that the distance between the centers is small d. Alright? Now, what does the universal law of gravitation say? It says that between any two objects, there is a force of attraction. Let us define that force by F. Alright? So, mathematically, the law says the force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of the masses. And the force of attraction is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. What is the distance between them? D. Every time the distance to D high, so D square, 1 by D square. Now, I want to clarify something over here. If you notice over here, I have taken D, the distance between the centers, not from side to side. This is to reduce complications. Copra, cholelum, at a confusion, I have, so I can be do it object or center to center less. Alright? So now come back to the equations, these two equations. If I combine them, what I'll get? I'll get F is proportional to mm by d square. Alright? Now, I'll equate them. So F is equal to mm by d square. So I have to apply constant here. That constant is nothing but your capital G. Right? So this is the expression for universal law of gravitation. Now what is Z here? G, the capital G is called universal universal gravitational constant. Alright? So you have to under you have to understand about capital G in details. In the next video, I'll try to explain about capital G.